All right. Take a moment. Feel yourself sitting here. Feet on the floor. And we're going to slowly grow roots out of our feet as if we're trees. And grow the roots down through the floor, through the basements, down to the earth far below us. And we're going to push the roots down and down through the soil, around the rocks, around the boulders. And keep on pushing down until you find the bedrock far below you. And as you reach the bedrock, reach out, search around, and find that pool of cool, crisp waters far beneath the earth. The waters of chaos, waters of potential. And reach down with your roots, and we're going to grow into the pool of water. And with each and every breath, we're going to slowly bring these waters up into our bodies. So as you breathe, pull the waters up through your roots. Each and every breath that comes up further into your feet and into your legs. As you breathe, feel the waters come up into your loins and into your belly. Feel the waters filling you within each and every breath. As you bring in, it comes up to your chest. The next breath, the waters come on up to your head. They come out of your head and out of your hands, spilling back into the earth. Feel these waters running through your body, filling you with the energies of chaos, the potentials that these waters bring, with these cool, crisp waters flowing throughout your body. And now, turn your attention upward. We're going to grow branches up out of our arms, grow them up through the ceilings, Grow the branches up and through the roofs, up into the sky, through the clouds, until you can find the star directly above your head. And we're going to reach up, or we're going to pull that fire from above, the fires of potential, fires of order, to bring them down, down into our branches. With each and every breath, we're going to pull these fires down further and further. Feel the fires come down into your head. Each and every breath comes down further into your chest and into your belly. See the fires come down with each breath into your loins and into your legs. Until finally the fires fill your entire body with the light from above. See yourself glow with the fires from above and the waters from below. Order and chaos the powers of potential mixing throughout your body. Breathe deeply of these energies. Take of these energies all that you need to bring yourself into your center. Fill your reserves as you need them. And when you're ready, push the waters back down into the earth. Push the fires back up into the sky. And know that if you ever need these powers again, you can always just reach down, reach up, and pull them into your bodies. But for now, push them out, that all that you do not need. Bring your roots up, bring your branches in. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, Open your eyes, prepare for magic. Our first offering, as always, is to the Earth Mother. To you who surround us and support us. You who give us sustenance, who give us shelter. Without you, we would not be here. Without you, we would not survive. For everything that you do for us, including all the various weather events that have been happening in the past few weeks, we ask that you are gentle with us with the weather, but we thank you for all that you do. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Accept our offerings. 
We are here to honor the ancestors, the land spirits, and the shining ones. And we are here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let's hallow our hallows. Mighty well. You run deep throughout the earth. You are in the lands of the ancestors. You are far below. To you, we cleanse you and give you this silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you who burn and transform, you who send our offerings high into the sky to lands of the shining ones. We offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. The mighty tree, your roots run deep into the wells far below. Your branches run high to the shining ones above. You are a pathway between all the worlds. We disperse you and we sense you. We say sacred trees grow within us. In my house and all of our houses, by the might of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters, the lights of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Thank you. Mighty gatekeepers, we call on you once more to aid us as we've called on you many times before. We call on you to watch over us as we do our works tonight, guard us and guide us in all we do. We ask that you like this messenger and take what we send out far and wide and ask that you bring back to us all that we need to hear. And we ask that you aid us in opening the ways between the worlds. For all that we are asking of you, gatekeepers, accept our offerings. And now, gatekeepers all, in my house and in all of our houses, let the wells open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices. In all of our houses, let the gates be opened. Our first offering to the kindred shall be to the ancestors. To all of you who have come before us, all of you of our family, we offer you welcome. To all of you who we choose to be family, our inspiration, our mentors, our friends, we offer you welcome. And to all of you buried in this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Next, we call to the land spirits. To you, fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. To you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you who are the unseen and all the names that you go by, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And last but not least, to the shining ones. To the gods and goddesses of all our days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our patrons and matrons, we offer you welcome. 
to all the gods and goddesses of this very land where we each sit. We offer you welcome. To all of you who are unknown to us, but still watch over us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires, shining ones, accept our offerings. At this point, if you have offerings of your own to make to any of the kindred, feel free to make them. this offering to all those who have died only because of hate, only because of misunderstandings. May this stop. And may you all be remembered. No further offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we've called to you to ask you to join us so we may give you offerings and ask your blessings to the terms. So to you, we make this one last offering. Say, mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now, kindred, we ask, what blessing do we receive? The ancestors. The ancestors keep us radio. The chariots. The physical journeys. The land spirits. The land spirits give us Elhas. Elk. Elk Sedge. Protection. The shining one. Shining ones give us stars on us. The thorn. Which can be defenses, but it can also be offenses. I read this as the Shining Ones are saying to watch your back on any travels you do. But the Land Spirits will be working to protect you. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? Yes. Good. Ancient and Mighty Ones. Fill these waters, my house and all of our houses. Fill them with the omens we have just heard. Send into them hours of radio and travel in the ancestors. Fill them with the powers of Elhas, the Upsesh, and the land spirits. Fill them with Thorzas, the thorn from the shining ones. Fill these waters in each and every one of our homes with the omens. Behold the waters of life. So now there's nothing else to be done. Let's thank all those who have aided us. Shining ones, be you unknown to us of this place or our personal patrons. For all that you do for us throughout the weeks and all you've done for us tonight. Shining ones, we thank you. Thank you. To the land spirits, be you the unseen, the plant, or the animal kin, for all they have done for us throughout the weeks, and all you've done for us tonight. Land spirits, we thank you. Thank you. And to the ancestors, 
view of this place, be you our chosen family, or be you our own family for all that you've done for us throughout the weeks and all you've done for us tonight. Ancestors, we thank you. We thank you. And gatekeepers all, you have aided us once more. You have opened the ways. You have watched over us as we've done our work. You've brought back the messages that we needed to hear. All that you've done for us. Once again, gatekeepers, we thank you. Now in my house and in all of our houses, gatekeepers, join your magic with ours. Let the wells become but water once more. Fires become but flame once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, we honor you first and thank you last. For without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, each and every day. May you always be first in our thoughts and last in our thoughts. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. This right has ended. <laughs>